came in a little rough. It was tough. It was definitely the toughest point of, uh, you know, our family's life. I had Tristan early, 35 and a half weeks. He suffered from a fetal maternal hemorrhage, so he was uh, bleeding back into me. Um, so yeah, that was obviously really scary. He spent about six weeks in the NICU. You're thrown into a world you're not used to, so uh, all of it's brand new. We found out that he had suffered from pulmonary hemorrhage. He had suffered a stroke afterwards. He started having seizures in the NICU. We knew that he had lost his hearing pretty early on. You know, we found out he had cerebral palsy. It's hard to hear that you have a child with a disability. I think you obviously worry because you don't know what his life's gonna be like or what challenges he may have. He was just bum scooting, never crawled, wasn't walking, wasn't standing. We did um, physio and occupational therapy. As a parent, you're always looking for every single avenue you can to, to help your child. We were actually at the, the Jets Gala when we heard about uh, the Movement Centre for the first time. When we first started, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know anything about conductive education. Conductive education is an effective therapy for anyone with a neurological motor disorder. We've had children enroll that are under a year old. We've had clients here that are over 90. We're trying to teach functional movements, whether it be learning to walk more independently, learning to eat on their own, or in general improving the quality of living. We work with children and adults with cerebral palsy, stroke, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, and head injuries. He started January of 2019, and so he would have been two at that point. He took his first few steps in February. I know Tristan works for three hours, which at the beginning I thought that was a really long time, but seeing how hard and what it does is truly amazing. Walk, yay, push. When Tristan came in, initially he was working on walking in a uh, anterior walker. Yeah, good job. They saw very soon that he had the ability and to really push him to gain that balance. You did so well. Before he was cruising around too much too fast, what we wanted to do was really try to refine how he's stepping and where he's stepping to increase his balance. As an athlete, you go straight into you know workout training mode. You're, you're trying to develop your body to be able to do the things you want it to do. And that's basically what Tristan's working on, is getting stronger in certain areas that allow him to move uh, more normally. Yeah. I've learned that it's it's a process, it takes time, but you can see that as long as you stick with it, you have a nice rate of improvement. Very nice. You can tell his confidence is building. <laughs> He's getting a little attitude on him. <laughs> You know, his fine motor skills, you know, picking things up, using a spoon, a fork. I know that he'll walk. I know that he'll be able to do things on his own. Good job, buddy! <laughs> We're hoping that would happen, but we weren't sure when it would happen. Look at him go! That's amazing! Oh, I was in tears. <laughs> it was amazing. Since starting the Movement Center, I feel I'm not worried anymore. At the end of the day, all you want is for them to live as close to a normal life as possible. And I feel like conductive education really helps strive for that. My goals are to get the word out of conductive education at the Movement Center. I know every, every penny that goes towards it helps out a lot. It's exciting for us to see you know, what the future might hold for him now. The more we can get the word out that this is, you know, helpful for situations like ours, it might help one more family. Push! He's just so much happier and having that independence, and I don't think he would have had that without conductive education and the Movement Center. <laughs> the Movement Center has been in our hearts and will stay in our hearts forever.